<laughs> so, our story turned even weirder. I went to go register the boat, and when I'm waiting in line at AAA, I noticed that the pink slip said Arendelle under the make and model. So, <laughs> when I got to the counter, I asked the lady, is there any way we could change the boat back to Horseman, what it should be? And she said that she had to look it up, and after a whole long wait, she said that I needed to come up with a blueprints or some sort of paperwork from the 70s. Um, so I go on Ed Horseman's site and I find a contact email for him and he actually responded back to me. Uh, I sent him a couple pictures and he said it wasn't one of his. Uh, that was shocking and also kind of not. Yeah. I mean, they weren't really boat people. Like, they had no idea. Uh, so, after a whole lot of searching and uh, forum posting, uh, I'm under the impression that it might be a custom piver, but there's no manufacturer code on our whole ID. So, it, I think it's just a home built custom boat uh yeah i mean it's it's <laughs> registered it's insured and uh it's so weird so we just like made it up just, just made up the make and model and put it on the registration yeah so <laughs> apparently some elves oceanic elves made our boat perhaps <laughs> All right, Mom, what do you think of the boat? I absolutely love it. Really? You two fish in the sea now have a place to live. Yeah? Yes. Need some more closet space, but yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Yeah. You, you remember uh, Overboard? He came in and built those beautiful closets. That's what you're going to get. True. I don't want to fall in the ocean first. But... <laughs> and then we'll find Captain Ron and you're all good to go. Okay. All right. Love you guys. I love you. Thanks for being here. Yesterday was super productive. We ripped out, I ripped out, all of the interior. <laughs> the entire ceiling, the walls, um, the bathroom. Okay, I shouldn't say entire. There's like so many nooks and crannies in here. So today I just ripped out the last couple. 
cabinets. I have to do that one. I did those. I gotta climb back in the other side and get back in there. And then I have a little bit more way back in here. It's just oh, areas that are super hard to get to. But I feel like we finally like actually dug into this thing this weekend. So um, there's sections like this. We first pulled off, this was the very first section I pulled off. I noticed that this was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> so um, there's definitely some stuff that have to be attached. I can actually see why it was. Exhausting and it's dirty. Oh. I'll get back at it. is over. I finally met White Shark on Saturday morning and she's absolutely a beautiful boat. Much bigger than I thought. And we had so much to do although Sean has done an incredible amount prior to me even viewing this boat. So one of the major things that I got to do was crawl into teeny tiny little crevices and vacuum. Every little piece that was pulled off the walls then crumbled into more little pieces. So we have been super, super busy. Sean does the demo. We are the cleanup crew. <laughs> so I just dropped my mom off at LAX. It was really good to have her here. I didn't realize we haven't seen her since the wedding. It's been four months since I've seen her. So it was really great to have her out here. She got to come out, see the boat. She got to work on the boat. She worked on the boat a lot. Uh, it was very helpful. I really appreciate that she was out here and spent all the hours over the weekend with us on that dirty boat and hot and sweaty and we're all really sore. Um, I think I did a thousand squats. How's it going back here? My legs hurt so bad from yesterday. Like squat. Oh, hi, camera. <laughs> sore. Yeah. Sean, like, is that side ready to be vacuumed? You're not ripping out crossfit. anymore? CrossFit. Hot. I'm sore. My shoulders hurt and we need a couple days off, but we got a lot accomplished. It was great to have her here. And I also feel like we've gotten the seal of approval from our parents now. I originally anticipated a talk a parental scolding of what you guys get yourself into? This is, um, you know, a money pit or a bad investment or, you know, 
didn't think things through. I was expecting some kind of parental lecture, and instead, all of our parents have been so supportive. Um, and it's just giving me the confidence that we did do the right thing, and this boat is gonna turn out really well. Uh, so I'm, I'm just glad that we have all of that. Um, we were able to tear out all the interior. Sean took out the weird faux particle board ceiling, uh, which I don't even understand why it was there. Um, now that we see the beautiful woodwork that it was uh, hiding, the walls are gone, the insulation has been tore out. And originally, I've never spent any time on a sailboat, really. And when I first crawled down there, it felt dingy and dark and dirty and claustrophobic. So we thought if we painted everything inside white, it would make it feel clean and, uh, you know, bright and bigger, more open, less claustrophobic. So that was our original idea. But now that it's clean and we, uh, Sean has ripped out all of the siding and the ceiling, we're seeing that there's really pretty wood structure underneath everything. Um, the, the ceiling, the boning in the ceiling is, it's beautiful and it looks like a sailboat. So instead of covering it all up and making it white, I think that instead we're going to stain and varnish and, and leave that exposed. It, will give it the true look and feel of a sailboat. So really interesting to see what was behind all those layers of crap, gross particle board. Um, and it's changing all of our ideas now that we're seeing what we're working with. So I think it'll be really good. I'm gonna start Pinteresting ideas, uh, which is never Sean's favorite thing because my Pinterest board means projects for Sean. Uh, but I'm excited. So we need to really start putting together our list of what we're gonna do next and ideas of, um, you know, of sanding and varnish and, and all of that fun stuff. There's a lot of work, but we're finally at that point where it's, it's feeling clean it's feeling um, like ours, uh, and I think we're kind of at the end of this hurdle, and now we can really start with the projects that matter. So it's good. It was a really good weekend. Loved having her here. Got a lot accomplished, um, but we definitely need a few days of rest and muscle recovery. So we'll see what the list becomes of our to-dos.